Hello everybody, welcome back to Big D, Big D Models, uh, coming at you with another update. Uh, before I begin, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Got Fuel Model Car Garage. Uh, go check out his uh, website. He's got some pretty interesting builds. Uh, one of the builds he has that I was really impressed with was this Cadillac he did. Uh, it's just simply phenomenal. But anyway, it's Got Fuels Model Car Garage. Go check out his website, man. He's 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 a pretty good build. Uh, anyway, back on with the video here. Uh, this is a quick update of what I've been doing for the past, uh, well, it's been now three days straight. I'm coming off of a three-day build here. And uh, I got a few models done already. Uh, this is my uh, version of the Fast and Furious model. Uh, I had to go back and uh, redo this one. Uh, so I'm counting this as a build. I had to kind of tear it down and redo it. And it turned out really pretty good. Um, I put a set of, uh, of uh, clacker bars on there or stabilizer bars uh, for you people that are from the, the 70s and 80s, they're called clacker bars. Um, I put a lift uh, lift kit on the rear end here. A set of coilovers, uh, that's where I had to redo them. Uh, even the ones I redid didn't turn out all that well. Uh, there's some pro issues here and there that I had with the model itself. But anyway, the uh, turnout was pretty good, better than what I thought it would be. Uh, let me bring this in closer so you can kind of see what I did here. Um, I went with the uh, fire extinguisher on the inside. I got that detailed pretty good. Uh, I did a little bit of the roll bar here, a little bit of the roll bar cage. I did a little customization to that, but not too much. Uh, this paint is uh, still pretty wet. Um, I don't want to handle it too much. Um, the hood itself comes off. It, it's pretty detailed. Uh, here, let me see if I can. I don't want to. Yeah, that's pretty dry here. Let me see if I can't flip this over and show you here. Here's what I did on the rear end. If you guys can see that pretty good. Okay. And let's set this back down. I don't want to drop it. But anyway, there's my uh, Fast and Furious. Um, the engine is detailed. I don't want to mess with taking off the hood. And uh, so I got that one done. Let me put this off to the side here. Ooh, got to be careful. I don't want to drop this. All that work would be for nothing. And here's the Ford Foos I've been doing. I got this thing done. Now... There's a few odds, odds and ends. I still have to do like the, uh, um, like the door handles. Uh, I went ahead and put a blower in this thing. Uh, put a blower on it. This is still super wet. The 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 hood I did earlier came out pretty good. It's more of a metallic. I got a little bump there. I got to sand out. Uh, the paint finish here, it's more of a, can you see that? It's more of a metallic color here. You know, I'm going to see if, I, if this is dry enough I can show you. Yeah, it's, it's dry enough. I don't want to grab it too much. Um, here you go. Can you see that? I put a set of... Uh, tailpipes at the end here nothing really major I kept it stock kept it simple the only thing I went big on is the uh, engine to it I did put a blower on it check that out I didn't wire it uh, just <laughs> after doing a three-day build you know you you tend to get a little tired I went with a distressed metal interior I was going to do the back window and I'd do a back tent, but I didn't do that. I did do a, a flat aluminum metal bed, but anyway, um, both the charger and the uh, boost truck are done. 
Uh, like I said, I just got to do like door handles, the side mirror, uh, things like that done. Trying to get you a front shot of the uh, bumper here. And i just been doing model after model. Uh, one of the kits I got going now is the, uh, fuck, I can't think of the name. Um, 32 Coupe. Yeah, it's a 32 Coupe uh, right here. So I got it all laid out. I'm getting ready to rock and roll on that. I got some of the body parts out. Um, I got the tires ready to go. I'm not sure which uh, set of tires I want to use. Uh, I want to do some drags, but I, I'm not sure. I really got to go get some sleep, man. I'm just burnt. Uh, I've had this bench rocking and rolling for the past three days now. And uh, I got the foose done. I'm really happy with the paint, how it turned out. Like I said, I got to put the door handles on. Just some minor things, the rear view mirror, uh, the uh, uh, mirrors up there. Uh, I was going to customize the hood so it would fit on the blower or over the blower, but I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to model it just as it is. I did not wire it. Uh, this model is not perfect. There are some uh, scratches and dings that I have to touch up, but for right now, it's 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 off the bench. <laughs> okay, it, I've been like I said three days straight. So uh, anyway, I got the 32 coupe. I uh, got that ready to rock and roll. Uh, I got all the parts laid out, uh, and then after I get that built, I'm thinking about doing the. Uh, um, I got two of these models over here. I'm thinking about doing the uh, uh, trucks. I got two of the snow plows. Uh, the one I'm going to heavily customize. And this one here, I'm just going to do a box stock. And then I got this nice little baby right here, man. That's the Cobra. I'm going to just make that just a nasty little dragster. You know how I do. Okay. Well, anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this uh, uh, inspires you to get your model going. I'm sorry if I don't give you a complete 360 uh, walk around, but this paint is still a little bit dry, or I'm sorry, it's a little bit wet, and I don't want to mess with it too much. I did get the wheels really good. I didn't do any decals. I didn't put the uh, 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 decals on the brakes, but uh, I went with a secondary color of red. The tires just turned out immaculate, and if you can see that paint job, I mean, that is just I, one of my better paint jobs I've done. And uh, all that is is uh, uh, Accolade Chrome over flat black, and then uh, uh, I put a clear coat over it, and that's what that turned out to be. I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the way... Everything turned out. I did have to customize the motor a little bit to get that big boy to fit in there. But, uh, yeah, everything has been said and done. Uh, tight and right, you know. So, anyway, I hope this inspires you to get your modeling going. And before I leave, I'd like to say head on over to Gott's Fuel Model Garage and check him out see what he's got. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot. Have a good day, man.